Welcome to the historical town of Cedar Key. This stormy night is perfect for us to explore Florida's most famous bed and breakfast. The Island Hotel was built in 1859 and has withstood the passage of time, countless storms and hurricanes, many guests and several feet of water every time a storm blew the roof away. Hotel is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and was featured in a TV series, Haunted Inns and Mansions. Because, well, the place is inhabited by 13 spirit guests. Don't believe me? Come see it for yourself! <laughs> <laughs> visitors it was a mom and a daughter the mom was probably about 87 years old and they stayed in room 28 and the mom needed help getting in and out of the bed so at their night here the daughter hears her mom talking her mom's talking to some woman telling her to quit the daughter says she saw a glow by the window but Eventually, the mom hopped out of bed and was talking to this glow and followed it all the way out into the lobby and then came back and hopped in bed and went to sleep. Room 27 and 28 are haunted by a murdered prostitute. I spent the night in eerie room 28. I woke up from a strange dream to the smell of perfume. In the air was a fragrance I had never smelled before. Some other guests have stayed in room 33, and the woman came out to take a shower, put her clothes on the bed, and went to the bathroom to take a shower. And when she came out to get something, her clothes were on the floor. So she picks the clothes up, puts them back on the bed, forgetting what she went into the bedroom for, and goes back into the bathroom. And then comes back into the bedroom, and the clothes are on the floor. The ghosts that you that you have allegedly viewed at the Island Hotel, what I tell you is these are stories that I can substantiate. I have history of them. There was a man here in Cedar Key in the early, late 1880s, early 1890s by the name of Billy Trump. And Billy was the son of a very, very prominent Levy and Lafayette County, which is the next county across the river in uh, the Swanee. Uh, today it's Dixie County. He was the son of a very prominent person. He was a legislator, uh, represented in this area. He was a colonel in the Civil War. And Billy was a real bad boy. No two ways about it. Everything had to be his way. He had two brothers that he had browbeaten into doing everything he wanted. And in the late 1880s, early 1890s, Billy took over Cedar Key to the point where the vendors, the, the merchants, were packing up and leaving. And there was a woman that he set his eyes on, but she was married. And uh, he pursued her so fervently that she threw herself out of the second story window of the Island Hotel. It is said that the small black boy lives at the basement of the Island Hotel where he drowned before the end of the Civil War. Be careful on the ladder here. According to the cook, the boy appears in the kitchen from time to time and stares at the kitchen helpers. Let's go to the basement and see where the boy drowned. They used to sell uh, illegal whiskey out of here. Just kind of, you got to kind of bend over here and don't grab this pipe. You know? See all these sandbags and everything that they, mm -hmm. that are piled up against the wall over here? Back, if you remember the invasion of the Bay of Pigs, you know, the Cuban Missile Crisis? Right. Well, they sandbagged the whole downstairs here so that when the missile started okay. flying, <laughs> everybody could come down here and get not nuked. So that's what, that's the story out here. Now here's the cistern right here. You can look over there. 
Come over here and he allegedly fell in here and wow. And there's the where the little boy drowned. Well, we're looking for a ghost right now. Well, okay, go ahead and uh, shall I turn the lights out? Um, a couple days after that visit, there was a young couple who stayed in that room, and it was her birthday. And they had a balloon. It was a big plastic balloon. They had tied it to the suitcase banister and came down for dinner and went back up to go and take pictures with the balloon. And the girl held the balloon, and she could hear air coming out of it. And there was a slash mark about this big in the balloon. There was a couple who also stayed in that room and had brought a flashlight with them. And the flashlight worked perfectly fine before then all the lights went out and they tried to turn the flashlight on. The flashlight would not come on. Once the electricity came back on, they tried the flashlight and it worked perfect. Mm. Just little ghost stories, playing pranks, um, nothing mean, just fun and games. Ho, 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 ho.